My name is Marcella Areca, better known as Miss Lago to many of you. And we are here in Dream Asylum Studios. This is my studio, the one that I do all the magic in. So I was contacted by Red Bull to work on a project for an artist named Villette. She's out of New Zealand. And she had a series of songs um, that they wanted mixed. But one song in particular, by the name of Money, they wanted it to be mixed in 360. I've had an understanding of surround mixing, but this was my very first attempt at a 360 mix. So I quickly had to figure out how I would be able to achieve that in my studio where it's not exactly equipped for surround mixing. So I was able to mix this record in stereo headphones using the Waves NX and the Waves B360 Ambisonics encoder. And basically what I did was is I was able to take my session and stem it out to where I was able to work on my laptop. Using these headphones with the tracker, I was able to turn my head and get the imaging of surround and be able to kind of move things in that way using the head tracker. Going from stereo mixing into the 360 side of things, it was it was fairly simple. I just created my stem session and on each individual audio file, I added the B360 plugin to each one of them and I was able to monitor through an aux with the uh, NX plugin. I think mixing in headphones is, is a really important aspect to this because most listeners today are listening to music on headphones. When it comes to panning in 360 and, and, and just using effects, the biggest difference is, is the amount of more space you have to play with. You're able to move things around in a way that is virtually impossible in a stereo mix. And you're able to just have better room to create and, and to kind of put things in places to where, you know, you don't have that in, the, in, in stereo. So the first step to mixing in 360 audio would be this head tracker. You simply just attach it to the headphones, stereo headphones, and it is powered by Bluetooth. And through the NX Embisonics plugin, you are just basically monitoring all your audio and surround sound by it tracking your every head movement. So the second part of my process was I basically imported all the stereo stem files from my mix session into a brand new session, as you see here. And I added the B360 Ambisonics encoder to each audio file, as you can see here. And that basically converts the stereo file into a multi-channel output. From there, I monitor through the NX Ambisonics, which is where all the head tracking goes down. And it's as simple as that to start mixing in surround. So one of the really cool things that you're able to accomplish in a 360 mix using this encoder is the ability to pan all around rotation. You can make things spread out a lot wider and you can also, you have the ability to automate an elevation. I did numerous amounts of panning when it came to using this background vocal here. And I basically just taking all these background vocals and just kind of making them turn. And I'm doing this based on what the image, I, you know, this, this song, it had a, a, a video shot to it. So I was able to kind of see the video and hear where, you know, movement was happening. So I basically made, the, you know, my own decision to kind of take certain vocals and move them around. So based on that, I was able to, you know, move things around. Like if I saw Villette over on this side, that's basically where I would take her lead vocal. And in a, in a quick moment, he would have her whip around over to the, to the right. So I would literally be doing this in automation. So you could actually hear her lead vocal going from left all the way to right and around. With this plugin, I was able to kind of do that using automation. And of course, there'd be times in the film where the director would, you know, rise or, or, or just pan the, the shot from lower all the way to up. So I would completely elevate certain sounds to accentuate what was going on in the scene. When Red Bull first contacted me to do this project for Villette, I reached out to Waves and they told me about this new technology. And I was immediately excited about the fact of how simplistic it would be for me to take a stereo mix file and import them and have the B360 plugin to convert my stereo mixes into multi-channel output as easy as one, two, three.